are you doing? I hope you're having a fantastic day. In this video, I wanted to share with you this teacher planner that I got from Aldi. This was only $7. $7, y'all. I've seen other planners at big box stores and they can go from anywhere between 20 and $40. So this was a steal. I'm telling y'all, Aldi, pick one up. If you homeschool or if you're a teacher out in public school or private school or whatever, great price. So I'm excited to show y'all this. This is a 12 month format. It is tabbed for quick reference, has monthly and weekly formats. It is a yearly overview, lesson planning pages, student contact pages, communication log, birthdays and special dates, removable ruler bookmark with seven sticky notes, dry erase surface cover for notes and three sticker sheets. So let's take a look. Let's, let's take this one off. So that's the cover. Hopefully the light is not glaring on it too much. Well, that's not bad, but there you go. There's the, the cover, very pretty. Cute little design on the front. And this is dry erase. So this is nice and smooth and you can take notes on it and then just wipe it off. Really cute sticky notes. I love sticky notes. So there you go. Very cute. And it goes with the theme for the book. And there it is again. So you can flag things, uh, make little notes, stick them in here, or you can stick them anywhere else. And there's your ruler. So it is removable. So see, you can Put it in or out, however you want to do it. Easy peasy. Oh, okay, there we go. And there's your calendar layout for the year. Information other people like if you're homeschooling you're really not going to need this but you can use it for other things it doesn't have to be faculty it can just be like homeschool connections different co-op groups museums other homeschool parents that uh, you communicate with and get information from whatever you can put whatever here and it's got the holidays laid out Important dates and birthdays. Oh. So, I'm guessing this could be your roster or student attendance or whatnot. Not sure what you would wanna use this for, but whatever works for you. Got some graph paper, you have a seating chart. Again, a lot of this you're really not gonna need for homeschool, but it's cute. All right, and then you've got your months laid out and the tabs for all the months. We'll just do a quick flip through of a few months. So you have your calendar, your notes, your priorities for the month. And you can write out lesson plans here. And um, like you can make them go all the way across or you can use each color block section to maybe different subjects or whatever all the way across the page. So you have several of those. And then 
you have notes in the back. And then a look ahead for a few months. And then on to the next month. And each one repeats the same all the way throughout the book. Really like the theme. It's really cute. Communication. So you write your students and their information, phone numbers, notes, and whatnot. You can use this for different things. If you're homeschooling, you can just change these. You can even take these little flags and write the different topic on it or the different section and you can cover over what's written here with the little flags and then again it'll keep the theme and then you can change these to be whatever you want them to be So this can work really good for public school teachers, private school teachers, and for homeschool, which is what I will be using it for. And say for this, I could write in my contacts for other homeschool parents, leaders of groups in the area, uh, sports teams, that sort of thing. It doesn't have to be for students. You can use it for whatever you would like. All right. I guess you could use these um, for homeschooling uh, if your kid's not doing what they're supposed to do. You can give them one of these sheets. Disruptive behavior, poor attendance, not staying on task, that sort of thing. You can write it to the other parent as well, which would be kind of funny. A uh, conference date request. <laughs> like, okay, we are having a conference about your child because they are misbehaving in class. So you sit down with your husband and you have a conference. Again, I'm just thinking of ways to utilize these other things because I homeschool. But for everything else, it's going to work out great. Like for the lesson plans and to plan the month ahead. And then I can write lesson plans for the different subjects. And it's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that gives you room for each core subject and then maybe one or two electives, depending on, on how many cores you decide you're going to do within each little color block. So it works great for lesson plans and laying out your month. Substitute teacher info. Again, if you are a public school teacher, this works for you. Uh, and again, we can use this for anything that we would like in the homeschool or not use it at all. Or just look at it because it's cute. Because it is, it's cute. <laughs> and the smiley faces, y'all, look. I think it's adorable. I am a huge fan of stationery and planning books, calendars, agendas, all of the things. I love really cute pens, uh, different style of pens. Now, I always have, ever since I was a little girl, I've just really loved this stuff. It makes me happy. I remember when I was young, I think I might have been in sixth grade, uh, there was a Sanrio store and my mom took me. It was called the Strawberry Basket. So it wasn't just Sanrio, but Sanrio was there. And I got 
so many cute like Hello Kitty and all those like the pens and the pencils and the notebooks and Lisa Frank. Oh, I loved it. It made my day. It made my school year to have the beautiful stuff. So it just carries on into adult head because I love this. I'm a fan. It makes me happy. If I have a pretty notebook and some pretty pens, I am all about it. Field trip info. Oh, websites, uh, logins and whatnot. Uh, you can write down the websites here because I know as a homeschool mom, I do tons of research and there's tons of websites I look at and sometimes I'll forget which ones I looked at and which ones I think are useful. So writing them in here would be a really great idea. You know, just make your note that like whatever website it was, what it was for, um, that sort of thing. So it doesn't have to be username and passwords. I will probably, I'm definitely gonna use this to reference back to the websites that I've looked at. Because like when I'm doing my research for homeschool, I will come across so many useful things. And then throughout the school year, I'm like, oh my gosh, what was that? What was that website I looked at that had the great Bible study info or the great math help? And then I won't remember. So now I can. I mean, I guess I could have wrote it in the notebook before, but sometimes I'm not that smart, so. <laughs> field trip information. It's great to plan field trips ahead of time, and this would be a great tool for that. And again, some more notes in the back. And your stickers. So cute. I'm also a huge fan of stickers. If y'all watch this channel, I'm sure you know how much I love my stickers and my paper and my pens. <laughs> so it's probably just overkill. But if you're new here, I do. This stuff makes me happy. So cute. So cute. I love it. Oh, and look at your pocket folder to store your info in. It is reflective and gold. That is another thing. I love shiny things. I'm like a magpie. I want all the shiny things and I want to incorporate them into my life and into my nest. So, love it. I'll just stare at it and go like this all day. <laughs> I know y'all, I know. And then this one is another dry erase sheet that you can use and a really pretty background let's see aldi super cheap highly recommend so y'all go get you one of these if you have any questions comment down below i will answer to the best of my ability and if y'all have not subscribed to the channel yet please do so it really does help the channel grow and it lets me know what y'all like the most and what I should make more of. So go ahead, comment, like, subscribe, share. You know, if you think any of these videos are helpful to anyone, go ahead and share them and let other people know. And I love you guys and I am so glad that you're here and I hope to see you again next time. Bye.